Well, last week we told you about a local imam who helped connect a group of African migrants to the city's tent shelter at Randall's Island. And more people continue to arrive and now that the shelter is closing, there are questions about where they'll stay. Jessica Formoso has details. Imam Omar Nias of the Bronx keeps on welcoming migrants from Africa. For a year and a half now, he has been housing adult single men, mainly from Senegal in his mosque. Today, seven arrived. Some of them from Brazil, some of them from Gambia. Brazil? Yeah, some of them from Mali. At one point, he had over 150 men staying here, prompting him to set up tents in the backyard due to the limited space inside the mosque. This place is not meant to hold hundreds or dozens of people, but um, they, they feel safe here. Uh, they're here in a community that they trust. After the mayor got word that the men were living in the mosque, his office coordinated with the imam to move the majority of them to the Emergency Humanitarian Relief Center on Randall's Island. Imam Nya says right now 27 men are staying at the mosque, but says five of them will be heading to Randall's Island tonight. I take the tent down because the mayor of New York, what did he do? He do a lot for me. He do great job for me because he can pick up the ter 130 something in a, in a house. The tent shelter on Randall's Island has its days numbered. Mayor Adams announced on Thursday it will be closing next week. Tent City was built to house 500 single adult men seeking asylum, but there's been a slowdown in arrivals. According to the Legal Aid Society, about 285 migrants are currently staying at the emergency shelter. The men, we are told, will be transported to the Watson Hotel in Hell's Kitchen. Imam Nya says he was made aware. I'm happy for that too because the mayor do it favor for me, do a good job for me for the take them. Because right now, I'm telling you, I have a, a small business. I'm trying my best. The imam tells us the men who are currently here at the mosque will be going to the hotel. He expects them to be picked up sometime next week. In the Bronx, I'm Jessica Formoso, Fox 5 News.